Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, we will uh, learn how to draw a connecting rod, and uh, the dimensions we have are shown uh, are shown here. This is front view, right side view, top view. This is if you are in uh, the according to the American system. If you are using the ISO, the international system, whatever you have to the right here, which is the right side view will be to the left and whatever you have as a top view here or uh, is going to be what in the bottom okay this is called the third angle and the uh, international system called first angle projection okay so uh, to start the drawing actually is so we'll concentrate on this projection so i'm going to start with this projection because it has all the dimensions i need the three circle here the circle here and the other circle here and the three circle here one two and three okay so without further ado we'll go to solid edge and open the uh, ANSI metric since it's in the dimensions are in millimeter and we'll start the drawing we'll go to the front view and let's start with the circle by center and the first diameter is what is 30 so I'm gonna put it here in the center and the next diameter is 40 the same center and the third diameter will be 45 okay now the next diameter after that will be the 16 so i'm going to put 16 enter it's going to be on the same horizontal line here i'm going to put 116 here and then after that it will be a, a circle by center a eight i'm going to put eight i'm sorry and i'm going to click in the same center line and then the last three circles which is started by 15 21 and 25 so 15 click the next one will be 21 and that 25 okay so we have 35 94 and 21 so we're going to do that so let's go to the part here so let's lock the dimension first so this dimension is 25 this dimension is i'm going to zoom or make it fit maybe better okay so the other dimension here 21 and this one should be the 15 good this circle should be the 8 and this should be the 16 and this one should be the 45 the 40 sorry the 40 and this one should be the 30 okay very good now let's put the distance from this one to this one this is, should be 35 35 okay and the distance from here this should be 94 and then to this one here should be 21 very good so it seems that everything now is aligned <clears throat> and i'm gonna zoom more so just i can see you know more okay now i'm gonna connect the the two circles here with a straight line tangent line so i'm gonna go take any point here it's gonna move with me till it becomes tangent attaching you see the two symbols i'm gonna click 
and you should see a circle with an X in it, a circle with an X in it. I'm going to start the other side. Oh, good. Okay, so we have the circle with an X, circle with an X. Let's trim the extra and trim the extra here. Very good. What I'm going to do now after that is I need to draw. <coughs> Let me go back to the drawing. I need to draw an offset around the same shape here, about four millimeter apart away from this shape. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to say offset. And you have this one here and I'm going to make the, uh, the distance is four millimeter okay so the four millimeter and I'm going to use a chain you see the chain here so this way I can when I click here it click everything here so now I say okay so you want it inside or outside I need it outside so I'm going to click to have it outside and I need only one so I'm going to just escape to get out of here so now we draw the, the other one now, uh, for the time being, I don't need this circle here because all that I need just I need the parallel two line parallel here. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to trim this third half a circle here and I'm going to trim the other half a circle here. OK, now if you look carefully for the drawing. Now you see here that this is a curve here connected between the circle here and the line here and the radius is five. So let's do that. So let's go to the part back again. And I'm going to select fillet, the circle, the radius fillet. And the radius is what? We said 5. Enter. So I'm going to click between this line and this circle here. So it's going to be in from up. So it's going to connect it. Okay. We can do the same thing. I can use this line and this circle. And from there. Yeah, and the connect. Now I can delete this part here, so I'm going to say trim, get rid of this part. Very good. But now we need to start working on this thing here. As you can see from here, I have the curve or the radius. Let me go back here. So you have here the radius here, what we call it 15. So starting from here and from this line here, I have a, a circle or a radius 15 for a 30 millimeter diameter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and uh, and it reach up here, it meet another horizontal line by a distance 38 from both sides means half of it will be 19. A horizontal line about 19 from the from the center. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to do the circle, the tangent circle here at the tip here, which is 30. So I'm going to go to back here. I'm going to say, OK, circle, tangent. The diameter is 30. Enter. And at the tip here of this line here, uh, and I need it to this direction. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah. Let's make sure it is 30. Yeah, OK. Or the radius is on. Okay, now I need to draw the line, that the horizontal line. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And this horizontal line at a distance 19 from the center here. So the distance between this line and the center line here, this should be 19. Oops, sorry. I'm going to make it 19. Good, 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 good. So now I have this line. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I need to trim this circle. And I'm going to zoom a little bit here. So I can trim this part here. Very good. I got this one. And the radius here is 15 because I know the circle. So now I need to start drawing this part here. 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the upper part and then I do symmetry to the lower part. So I'm going to start from here and go up. So the this is 30 and this is 70, so 35 and the 15, so it's going to be 20. So I'm going to start from the tip here to go up 20 and then move forward. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to start from okay I'm gonna start let me start from the center I'm gonna start from the center go horizontal line vertical line okay a vertical line sorry and starting from starting from the tip here this part here I need to have this distance is how much 20 so I'm gonna be 20 20 very good so now I need to go horizontal I'm gonna start drawing the shape so then I go horizontal two and a half okay I'm good 2.5 horizontal enter then I go down to enter Then go horizontal seven and a half, seven point five. Then go up to and then horizontal two and a half. Touch here and go vertical, sorry, till it touch here. Okay, very good okay now let me zoom so I can uh, start cleaning let me zoom more frame this part very good okay okay now I need to I need to draw the same thing here I did here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight let me go to the select I'm going to highlight this part okay and I'm going to see mirror and this mirror around the horizontal line you see the horizontal line here and I'm going to click so I will get the same shape when you do the mirror make sure that the line here is connected I don't I need to skip so it doesn't bother me okay so it's gonna keep doing mirrors okay make sure that you see here the dot here that means that is connected here but the line here is not connected to the surface so how can I solve that I'm gonna say you see this connect so I'm gonna say okay get me connect this tip here with the circle here you see becomes as uh, an X in it and the same thing I need here between the curve and the line here so what I'm gonna do it is connect so I'm gonna say okay get me the tip of this uh, the curve here or the tip of the line here connected to the tip of the curve here good so now you see the connection okay so now we done with the connection so now the next step is and start to doing some trims get rid of this one get rid of this one and get rid of this one okay good I need the curve between this line and this line is how much oh, no sorry I got the wrong one this line and this line and the curve here is three and a half three point five and let me do the other one too no sorry this one and this one good okay the other thing oh i forgot to make that this the the symmetry about the symmetry also if you zoom here let me zoom area here i need a line connected from the tip here and it go vertical till it touch this one and the other one here from the vertical line go vertical 
So let's touch this one. Good. Now let's trim. I'm going to trim this one. And let me do the other one, and then I'm going to trim both of them. Okay, now let's let's move it by the handle. We'll do the same thing. If we did it with the mirror, it will be easier, but it's okay. So I'm going to go all the way till it hit this one. Good. Right click, and then go to the tip here. And I'm going to go vertical till it hit this one. Good, and then I'm going to do this way. And all what I need to do, I need to trim this piece here and trim this piece. Very good. Now let's uh, make it fit. Okay, so now we got the the things drawn actually to the dimension we need. And let's see. So now I'm going to go to the home. And I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to click the, the face. And I'm going to select this face. Very good. It looks good. So now what we need to do is we're going to go to the face. And then I'm going to right click. And I need it symmetry so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna click on the symmetry and this dimension should be eight so I'm gonna put eight and very good so we got this one eight okay don't forget that when we do that okay we didn't like the other dimension this is why some changes I see that especially in this area here but who will fix it uh, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just uh, make sure that uh, I'm gonna do any drawing so I'm gonna click on this the line so now I want to bring the, uh, the 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 front view uh, plane so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the planes the reference plane here so I'm gonna check it so now if I open it, so the top plane, I don't need it actually. So, and also the right plane, I don't need it. Only thing I need is the front plane. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to highlight the front plane. So this way, when I do the projection of the sketch, I will do, do it on the front plane. So I'm going to click projection to the sketch and say, okay, so project internal faces loop. I say, okay, this is what I'm going to choose. So this way... I'm going to say, okay, project this one and project this one and project this one. Do I need to do a projection here? Okay, I think, yeah, okay. Project this one, project this one and project this one. Let me do this one too, this one too, and this one too. And say, okay. Okay, so now we did the projection. So let's go back to the home, okay. Or we can start the, doing the, 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 the extrusion. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to extrude. Okay, face, I can click on this face. And right click. And this symmetry, good. And I needed 16, so I'm gonna put 16. And very good and the same thing also for this one I'm gonna make it in any direction so no okay both and this is should be also 16 and good now I need to fix this one I didn't lock it but anyway so this is how we learn by our mistake okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the front of you oops sorry why it like this let me rotate it very good okay let me zoom to this area oh sorry let me do it like this okay i know that from here from the center let me see from the center here to the tip here sorry 
what the tip here okay let me do it again okay from the center here okay so this is 30 that's correct so now I know that this is correct so what I'm gonna do is just I need to go down the two millimeter so I'm gonna get a line I'm gonna draw just horizontal like this and I want to make sure that the distance is two millimeter this should be two millimeter it's just I'm gonna put two millimeter very good now I need to trim the other the list I don't need this line anymore what's going on okay maybe I need to skip okay yeah okay now I need to trim this line and the trim this line good and the trim this line let's do the same at the bottom man okay I'm gonna draw a horizontal line somewhere here between this one oops sorry Let it touch here okay good and I need the distance again two millimeter between this one and this one should be two millimeter I'm gonna put two millimeter good now let's uh, trim this one I need just to skip and then I'm gonna trim I'm gonna trim this part no 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 what's going on why is not connected or what okay no okay. so let me trim this one first good okay now do I need to have anything here no okay okay what about here okay good so now let's fit okay now I need to do this too so what I'm gonna do extrude face which is this one and this one and and this is okay it's gonna be positive okay yeah, I need to add and the thickness in this one is is six okay so I'm gonna just you want to make it in the hole okay find it like this okay okay now let me make it bigger I'm gonna zoom better okay so now I'm gonna oops sorry. good okay okay now let's go to extrusion back again okay now I need this face and this face right click and I need it symmetry good and the distance is six I'm gonna put six for both of them very good so now we're done with this one now let's do the same thing also for this one then I'm gonna click means it's gonna go both both ways and this one is four I'm gonna put four very good so now let's say fit so now as you can see it looks good everything looks good okay so now what I need to do the only thing left is just to make the two holes okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the circle by center and this hole is about uh, okay four millimeter I'm gonna say four enter and I'm gonna see when I move here once I see the the, the step, let me zoom better so you can see it better okay okay now okay you see here okay I need to draw the circle here and the circle here and the distance between both of them is 55 so which means that 27 and a half from the center so I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say uh, circle by center. The diameter is four millimeter. So I'm going to click four and I'm going to come. Once I see the, 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 the face, I'm going to click on F3. means that everything will be drawn. You see F3 here to the right side. So now I'm going to draw it somewhere here. So you need, need to be in the center. 
So it's going to be like this in this one here. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm going to put it here and do the same thing here. Come to where is the center line. Okay. Get with the center line. Okay. Now I need to get the distance between both of them, between from this one to the center line here. This should be what? 27. Oh, man. 27.5. 27. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to put. Why it didn't change? Okay, why it, didn't, it was locked? No, okay, 27.5. And okay, go. no, it didn't change. Okay, so now it seems it, it's stuck with some place. Okay, so let me see the other side too. So now the X from the center line to this, to this one here. Twenty. I want to make it twenty-seven. It seems like it is. It is. It is locked to certain location. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna repeat it again because I don't know what happened. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of the circles. So what I'm gonna do again? Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna select a circle by center. The diameter is four. Enter. I'm gonna highlight this page and I'm gonna say click here. What I'm gonna do better? I'm gonna say get it to this one okay now I'm gonna start zoom here and I'm gonna do it this way okay now the circle is what we said okay that's fine so we're gonna put the four and okay now I'm gonna be that in the same in the center line here Okay, now I need to have the distance from this circle to the current exit. This should be 27.5. 27.5. See, it allow me here to change the dimension. Very good. And then the other one here. Okay, we put it to the right. That's fine. It seems that... Uh, what happened okay so now okay let me do it and from the center here to the circle here I want it 27.5 27 yes 27.5 enter very good okay uh, attributed twice here so there is no need for to have it twice get rid of this one delete okay now we have the 7.5 okay now let me just rotate it a little bit reduce it okay and then what we're gonna do extrude and instead this i'm gonna instead to add you need to cut i'm gonna make it minus and this is through all and in the face okay we can use the face or chain that's fine so this is chain here and then this is chain here then right click then it should be in this direction so i'm going to click you, you see the arrow okay so the arrow should be see this arrow will give you an error the arrow here is the correct one and this is what happened you get the hole okay so now we are done with the connecting rod drawing and all what's left now is to save it under the name of lab 13 so i'm going to say save as save as and i'm going to call it lab me 103 lab 13 this is the name i'm going to save it as so and this will conclude our session or our lab for for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and you like it and at the same time i would like to hear your feedback First, I would like to uh, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.